Good evening, beloved brothers and sisters out there. Good evening, Eastern youth. Good evening, uh, fathers and mothers out there. Good evening, all spiritual men and women out there. It's my pleasure to come again to discuss with you one of the vital information as related to our culture. Remember, we are reconciling our culture, we are reconciling our tradition, we are reconciling our religion. And uh, in our culture, there is a part of our religion that has a misconception out there in the eye of the people and which made our religion look like it is evil. We have talked about the God whom we in our language or in our culture or in our tradition we ascribe as Amadeo, whom I say is the God Moses saw, whom I said is the God that gave Moses the staff he used in the land of Egypt, as the Bible detailed to us, which I told you I have met with this person, with this being. And I want you to know that he does not look like a fish, neither does he look like a ram or any form of animality. He does not look like any form of animal. He is a man like myself. He looks like me. Now, I also told you in one of the videos about the seven princes of the seven kingdoms. There is nothing like the goddess of the seven waters. It does not exist. You see, all this rubbish, all these uh, misconceptions, all these manipulations of pictures and, and all that, it is not called for when describing our God or the deities associated to our culture and religion. How do I mean? Before I met Amadeo, I used to see a picture online, they, they would draw someone that looked like a ram, they would draw someone that the lightning is all over his body, you know, they will draw so a lot of rubbish in the place of Amadeo. I researched all the internet. I found out that all the images so far posted on, on, on net, none looks like Amadeo when I met him. Now, today, I also want to remind you that we have discussed about Kamano. He is just a man like we do. And his symbol of movement is the rainbow. That you see above. It's just a man. Okay, now, now in this video, we want to analyze because in our culture, we are the, the only religious group or culture in the world that recognizes God both in the manhood and in the womanhood. Okay, now in our culture or in our tradition, according to the religions of the land of Biafra, we have goddesses of which we call Ezewani. Now this Ezewani, what is Ezewani? Ezewani means a crown princess. It's Ezewani. That's not too definition about is a one. Now, it is not a name given to a person or a deity as this is a one. No, it is a qualification of title. It's an office in the culture of the womanhood. Now, when that woman have attained to receive a title and wear a crown, she become a king in the woman form. 
As as in one, it means the king woman or the woman king. Now, how is a woman a king? You know that a woman becomes a prince, a princess. A woman also is a queen. A woman also, when assigned a throne, becomes as in one because she sat on the throne. All right. The Ezewan in our culture does not look like a fish. He does not have fish tail. Now, let me ascribe the woman for you and help you to understand a little bit about the spirit. I met Ezewan whose name is Adure Iyafo in our language. And whose name in English is Azir. She is the first princess, the mommy, the mother of the other six that make up the seven kingdoms. And she have lived on this earth for 400 centuries. Okay, if you calculate 400 centuries, you will know how many years this spirit have stayed here on earth. Older than Nigeria. And that is the culture of the Biafra man. Now, 100 years make up a century. So 100 times 400 is how many years this spirit have spent here on earth. And now, there are other forms of marine spirits. I told you the formation of the kingdom of God down here on earth. After the counsel of God from what I saw, now we have the nine angels. After the nine angels, we have the seven princes of the seven kingdoms. Which I told you, six out of these seven are all women. The only man among them is Kamano, which I mentioned in English. Let me repeat this name, their names again Azil, Ari, Maboel, Mephistophilis, Baboel, Azabelis, and Anitrelis. This is the seven princes of the seven kingdoms. There is no seven waters. There is no seven river. It does not exist. Now, these seven princes, among all these, all these seven, one is the prince, which is Kaman, is the prince, and all others are princesses. Now, they are all women. Now, these women, Azabel is a woman, Azil is a woman, Ariel is a woman, Mephistopheles is a woman. And it well is a woman. And all of them are in paradise. These seven princes I mentioned to you are the governing authority of paradise. Okay? All right. Now, these are the spirits that appear unto you when it has to do with the marine or woman-like activity in our culture. There is no other spirit. Now, the creatures that look like fish, half woman and half fish, these are another creatures in the waters. They are not the goddess we worship, or the goddess we serve, or the goddess we give food. No. It is a wrong idea. And these ideas is what we want to cleanse in our culture. So our people will understand what our culture stands for and who we stand to portray in our culture. Now, the, the, the asyl is not a fish. He is. She is a mother. The mother of all. The first daughter of God. That is Azir. How will your God, who created you as a human being, come become like the fish? Rabbi, he made you. So, these are species. A different species of creatures of God in the water. Now, they transform sometimes to a human being or for a while, not a long time, and they return back. 
they have limitations of movement. But those are not the people our culture refers us as, as our namely or our, as Mami Wata. You see, people have been seeing this, they get uh, fish uh, uh, goddess, we call them fish goddess. They are not in any form in the authority of creation or of giving wealth or of giving anything. They have no power whatsoever. Their power is only limited to their living in the water. They are not in any way associated with anything, authority, or gift. That those are the species. Now, they rely on human effort and as well as their species in the water for survival to eat. They are not the ones who use biscuit, bread, and, and banana or whatsoever to serve in the water. That is one of the important things I want you to learn in this video. Number two, why do we go to the waters to go and offer sacrifices? Does it mean that our God lives in the water? No. The water is the passageway of spirits. Just like you and I move on the road, the spirit move on the water. The water is the passageway towards these kingdoms. It's a passageway. Now, even the paradise that you and I go to, is the water is the passageway towards it. it okay, if you want to go to any kingdom whatsoever among the seven kingdoms, the water is the passageway. You, that's why you see lakes. Some lakes from there is a passageway. That's why you see some rivers. It's a passageway. So the root of the spirit determines the waterway of which the sacrifice will be kept so that they can take it. Does not mean he lives inside the water there. So let us learn to understand our culture and how it is related to our religion so that we will stop this uh, Facebook madness of displaying fish as mumumili. Let me tell you what mumumili means. One minute. Everybody on earth is one minute. Let me describe it for you, what it means. There is no man, there is no woman that does not have a guardian spirit or that does not come from water. Because in the beginning was the water. The water covered the whole place. There is no anything breathing here. Everybody, everybody is under the water. And God now came and separated the water from the water. So one went up, one come down. And God now come and the one that came down separated it again to form the ocean and form the dry line. And then call man to come forth. That means man is part of the water. And water runs in man. Man runs in water. Now, that is why we call it the land and sea of the first mystery of God. Now, we the human labor in the land for survival and the feeding of our spirit with the water while our spirit lives in the water. So, you don't feel that maybe because of uh, what you can see that is a creature from the water, is mammy water that have a tail of fish. So you conclude in your own perspective or in your own initiative that definitely that is the God we call in the water. Fa, 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 fa. You, that is a big mistake. That is a very wrong idea. That is not the truth. So stop deceiving yourself. If you portray the fish as you are goddess in the water, then that means you don't know what you are doing. Because if you have been in their mix before, you will know that they don't look like fish. Neither like a ram or like any form of any animality whatsoever. But the secret about this is some of these spirits ride on animalities. Some of them ride on tigers. Some of them ride on ox. Some of them ride on horses. Some of them ride on python. Some of them ride on dragon. This is how all of them, according to the animality of their travel, doesn't mean that they are that animal. And when the spirit wants to come to you, the first thing you see is that animal that he or she is riding on. Then when you, when you see that animality, you will believe that that is the spirit. No! And when the spirit is speaking, you, feel, you believe that it is the animal talking to you. No! That means your eye have not been open to see. When your eye is open to see, you will see he or she sitting upon that animal 
as a great prince or princess. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let us go home and make research. You see, there are records kept on these things. But these records are not what will reveal any how to people because of abuse. You see, the Bible that was revealed concerning the father and the princes, you see how they abuse it and return it back to us as a Bible, not as what the way it was when they stole it from us in schools. This scripture, this Bible, is our culture, which they stole. Reform it and return it back to us in their own language. We became confused. But that, that which has to do with the culture proper, which was hidden, even from King David himself, but handed over from priest to priest, they did not lay a hand on it, because it has to do with the women. The Bible told us about the men. That is why we are different. We have the record concerning the women in the creation of God. The Bible only stopped at Adam and Eve, how Eve was formed out of Adam. Any other information concerning that, there's no other information. All the angels that have been recorded by the Bible are all men. But today, we are telling in our culture, in our tradition, we also acknowledge the women. And that is what the Roman Catholic wanted to imitate when they got some script. They did not understand it. They now use the mother of Jesus to replace it so that we will not go deep into that direction in the scripture. These are the people that have always have already have come clear to close because they are the first to invade our temples and take our scripts. So the real script that we are hidden in the underground library of the Biafra, which nobody knows, which I don't trust among the new. Now, we have discovered all these things, and we are teaching you now. Now, you stop believing or reasoning or following the wrong message that our God, Amadioha, is like a ram. And the Kamano, I don't know what they draw Kamano to be like. It's only Amadioha had they know, and that is the one. And all this while, Amadioha has not shown himself. It has been Kamano who has been displaying since the creation. Amado have never showed himself. So I don't know where they got the picture that they place everywhere that the picture of Amadeo. Now they don't know about Kamano. They mistake Kamano to be Amadeo. Though all of them are all Amadeo has. Because the father is Amadeo and his children are all Amadeo. Now her daughter is saying, how did she get female children? Those female children are whom she gave assignment. He gave them assignment in different waters, in different lands, in different places to be prince and princesses and rule over because their father is the king of all kings. Now, if your God is like a fish, then there's no need you need to be among or have to butcher you because you are fish. If your God is like a snake, then there's no need for you to stand among men. We have to kill you because you're a snake. Our God is not like a snake. Neither does it look like a fish. Neither is he a, 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 a man with a horn. Or those are beasts. It does not concern us. The animalities are what we use to sacrifice to our God. That doesn't mean that's the way our God looks like. The goat is meant for sacrifice. And that does, it's not how our God looks like. If that is how the Illuminati God look like, then they are our sacrificial lamb. So we have to use them in our altar. That is what it means. So if you are God who look like a ram, then we have to use you as a sacrifice in our altar. As Abraham used ram as sacrifice in the altar. The God that Abraham gave ram, did Abraham tell us that he looked like a ram? So it's time we, we wake up and stop being stupid when it has to do with religion in Africa. African religion is one of the, the, the debased type of religion that is scary. Now, I want to explain another thing. We have the witches and we have the wizards. In our culture, we don't practice witchcraft. We practice wizardry. In our culture, we don't practice witchcraft. We practice wizardry. We are the wizards. Because we discover, we create, the witches manipulate and torment. We don't manipulate people in our culture. In our culture, we create. In our culture, we command. In our culture, we decree. In our culture, we perform the act. The domestic characteristics 
as associated in the necromancy of that which is called spirit and mankind. That is what our culture is. It is not, it is not witchcraft. So when our culture was taken away, then witchcraft was brought to us, which is the culture of our Western brothers, the Yorubas, and that of the, the Ghanaians, and that of the, the Togoans, and that of the Malians. These are people that practice witchcraft. And the India. Okay. Now, if you come to our God in the kingdom, elephant is a security. And the, the God that the Indian man worship is like elephant. That is the security of our own God at the gate. I don't know how many of you have been to the kingdom of God before and see things for yourself. Uh, in the paradise, in the paradise, and go and pray. Ask God to open your eye. In the paradise, in the temple of the paradise, it is the, 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 the elephant, the two elephants that stand at the left and the right hand of the Warama, the serpent of paradise. These are the authorities. Now, the two elephant guides. Now, the Indian man uses this elephant as his god. That means he's a security to my own god. <laughs> I don't know if you understand these things. It's time we begin to know this god that we are calling every day, how does it look like? The Buddha. Enter the realm and see things for yourself. You now know that we are the people that know about creation proper and worship the right god. These aliens of white color that came to stay on earth. And from there, they begin to sleep with our women and beget their own children. We need to learn how to repel these aliens so that they will stop disturbing and destroying our existence in the name of their religion and their government. Our culture is the key of the future. Let us learn it, understand it, and do it right so that we can propel our God aright and not propel evil as our God so that the blessings of this creation might come upon us and the light of our existence will shine to all nations. This is my message to you this evening that our God, both as the one, all the as the one as I have met, none of them look like fish. All the spirits I have met, none of them look like animal of any kind. All are human beings in their glory and majesty and their staff and their honor and their crown as prince and princesses of God, children of God, because the God that born them is a king. All right, the angels I have seen, none of them are fish. So I don't know how Christ will come and then use fish to give you an eye to be worshipping as our goddess or as our mother. It is, it is irresponsible. That's stupidity. That's foolishness. So you out there, who is deceiving people with all these things, please stop. Because right now, we are reconciling. Or if we pass a decree, you will not like what you will see. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening to me. Uh, subscribe with us, Eastern Youth Network on YouTube. Uh, my name is Dr. Charles Tukwemeka Amanze. I would love to release my number in this video. Call me on 081-8381-5274. And then share any idea towards our face face of reconciliation. We are rounding up with our religious reconciliation, the third in the bid. And when we round up, we will enter the second phase where we will be talking about our liberty proper. And that is when the liberty movement will properly be initiated and as a face of our oppression. But for now, we are still on the first phase and we are on the cultural, traditional, and religious reconciliation. Follow us, like our activities, subscribe with us. Also dislike any video and let us know why. Give us your comments and we will appreciate it. God bless you. Remain blessed and I wish you well. Amen. <coughs>